Hey, this is Mike Ramsey. I'm the SEO manager at TechWise Internet Marketing, and I'm here to talk to you about the new Google release, Hummingbird. Uh, it's a major update to the uh, Google algorithm. Uh, they've reworked quite a lot of it, and uh, a lot of people have a lot of questions about it. Uh, so, I mean, to start off, basically, the Hummingbird uh, has actually been out for about a month. Uh, Google only actually officially announced it uh, yesterday. Uh, so really, uh, as far as concerns around like, what is this going to do to my site's web traffic, what is going to happen uh, as far as my rankings, if you haven't dropped already, chances are Hummingbird's not going to impact you. Uh, and on the other side, if you've seen some great gains in the last month, maybe Hummingbird has worked out great for you. So putting that aside, uh, let's talk about what Hummingbird actually has done. One of the big focuses for Hummingbird, as Google has uh, said, is about natural language searches, allowing you to ask Google questions the way you would ask any person and get uh, logical answers. It also will help uh, you know, follow through to be even more intelligent about how it will, uh, how it will give you um, better answers to your questions if you make subsequent questions in a row all related to each other. Uh, I mean, the great example they gave was, uh, you know, like, what is the Eiffel Tower? How big is it? Uh, how long has it been around? And so you can ask these sort of questions in a row of Google and it'll keep giving you the correct answers right away. I mean, this is something that Google has basically been trying to do uh, in many of its changes over the previous years. You probably have already noticed that if you say search for sports scores, you'll get sports scores right away. If you search for uh, dictionary definitions, you'll get definitions right at the top. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways in which Google tries to give you your information right away in the Google search result page as opposed to having you uh, go to an actual website that's returned. Uh, as well as uh, trying to personalize your results further so that the websites that are returned uh, get gradually more and more uh, you know, tailored to what exactly you're looking for, what you're interested in, and so on. Uh, the big part of this is called the knowledge graph. Uh, knowledge graph is information particularly that you see on the side of uh, the right side of Google search results. Uh, this information will be about the specific thing that you're searching for quite often. Uh, very frequently you'll see it with brand searches, but it's certainly going beyond that. You may have already seen it with, say, searching for a famous actor already, where there'll be a big like sort of bio information and pictures on the side of the search results. And uh, that, uh, that information is all coming from the knowledge graph. Uh, the initial, uh, initial rollouts of Knowledge Graph were focused around very specific areas, uh, but now they're really trying to bring this to almost like, you know, as much of the search, uh, searches that are being done on Google as possible. Uh, so, I mean, of course, the idea here is that, uh, you know, being, you, you're just going to get better as far as uh, if you are providing great content on your website, if you're answering questions that people have. Uh, chances are that this is only going to help you get in the face of users who are looking for the information that you have to provide. Uh, beyond that, uh, one of the things that Google has said is that this really particularly impacts uh, what we call long tail searches, uh, very unique searches that are maybe you know never been made before or hardly ever made. Uh, you know that one particular user happens to want to know this information and searches in an exact sort of a certain way. I mean, from an SEO perspective, there's no real way that you go about like specifically targeting these users outside of making sure that you produce great quality content that answers their questions, that it, uh, addresses all the different things that your potential uh, target you know consumer or target uh, reader, uh, your your target patient or whatever it may be uh, is looking for. Uh, anyway, so uh, this is not something that to be uh, really concerned about as far as like the big penalty changes. Uh, I mean, stuff around Panda and Penguin and so on in the past, this is not really that kind of uh, Google search update. Uh, so by and large, I'm not too concerned about seeing clients who are going to have like major drops in traffic because of this. This just shouldn't happen. Uh, beyond that, <clears throat> Beyond that, uh, there's of course, yeah, great, uh, great things to be seen for anybody who's been really putting up good quality content going forward. Uh, otherwise, as far as what you might want to do with considering the knowledge graph is being expanded, uh, having a, uh, you know, like we may, we may see that like in some cases, if you're searching for a big company, if the company has a Wikipedia article, part of what gets populated for the knowledge graph information will often probably be taken from something like a Wikipedia article uh, or other authoritative sources. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can also make sure that you set up a Google Plus page and uh, that you have it properly linked to your website with a uh, publisher tag in your uh, site, which basically tells Google that like, hey, this site is connected with this Google account and uh, that information will show prominently in the sort of knowledge graph area on the side of search results uh, when somebody's searching for your brand. Uh, and otherwise, uh, yeah, just don't be too concerned. Keep an eye on what you're doing, uh, what's happening as far as your search traffic. Obviously, the big not provided change is going to make it much harder to uh, be able to gauge exactly how this has impacted your search traffic. 
And uh, otherwise though, you can certainly take a look at overall search volume, take a look at where you're ranking, take a look at what pages in particular are getting traffic uh, in the last month versus before, and uh, just keep doing the right things as far as Google uh, has always said. I mean, putting out great content, getting uh, good valuable links coming into your website, good mentions of your brand, and uh, making sure that you're uh, not doing funny things as far as like the technical setup of your website that might uh, harm a Google's ability to understand who you are and what you do. Uh, that's pretty much it. This is Mike Ramsey for TechWise, and I uh, hope you found this useful.